Hey everybody, Ralph Havens here. And this morning for your session, it's a session that I wanted to do yesterday. And we were, we had some issues, our power went out and then, um, and then we were heading into town. And so a lot of stuff seemed to be in a little, a little things seemed to be in the way of, um, of getting my, my Facebook live session out <clears throat> yesterday. But um, but I went ahead and tried it from the co-op in town, our coffee shop that we go to on Saturdays, and and um and I didn't realize I didn't hit the button to record it as a video, so so um so that was that, and it came out kind of jumbled up because a lot of people were trying to talk to me, and I was interacting with all sorts of people, and. I was like, oh, I got to do this Facebook Live thing. I really want to do this. All sorts of cool stuff came to me and Jen the night before, and it just came out kind of a little funny. So I wanted to do this one today. And what it's about is what's um, is, is the obstacles, the obstacles that are in your way and the stuff that seems to be in the way of you getting what you want. <clears throat> Let me just type this in. Let's see. The obstacle is the way okay so we're about to to start so <clears throat> excuse me so so some stuff came to me um i guess it was friday night and i was realizing that oh my gosh you know i've been um realizing more and more that yes the the hardships that jen and i went through this past few years, and it's been crazy. We we thought about what's happened since um, around 2011, when we started to have our life seeming to um, to just um, blow up in our face, and in San Diego. <coughs> and and um, but I, what I realized Friday night was, man, oh man, if that stuff hadn't happened, I wouldn't be getting to do what I do now in the world. I mean, the things that I learned on a physical level, like to fix up um, all sorts of health concerns and autoimmune conditions and chronic, chronic conditions, the things I learned, I wouldn't have learned if I hadn't had a bunch of stuff happen to us and our family and this big turmoil. And if we hadn't slept outside and needed to sleep outside and needed to blow through a lot of money to, um, to fix up our house and to, to get our life up here going and get our business going again, um, if that hadn't happened, I wouldn't have learned a lot of really cool stuff and been able to help people even on a bigger level and, and have a bigger reach. And it just came to me Friday, like, Oh my God, it really was my training and the obstacles were actually the way. And when I was in it, of course it didn't feel good at all. I mean, it felt awful. I thought everything was falling apart and it was, but, but, um, but I was getting on Friday night that, wow, that was actually, the training that was actually the miracle that it fell apart and that I found all these things, you know? So, so I was getting that. And then I told Jen and on Friday night and she said, yeah, um, I'm getting that too, even more and more and more. And the stuff that's coming through in the next week or two is just so big that Jen and I are up to. So I'm super excited about it. And it just came to me that, Oh my God, it's been an amazing journey. And the stuff I wanted like to get our, our life back, our um, health back, our business, and, and reach people. It's what I wanted, but the, the real thing, the other thing, the underlying thing that I got was this, this shift in um, getting to be more of who I am. So, so I want that for you guys. You know, that sounds like um, a good thing for this, this Sunday morning, right? And, and, um, and so, so I'd like to do a little uh, session for you. And if you want, put a little note in the Facebook um, thing, if you're on Facebook and, or if you're later on YouTube or the podcast, um, just put a mental note to yourself of what you really want and what's the problems that are going on right now that um, seem to be in the way. <clears throat> and then, um, and we'll talk about it in a minute. So, so, um, so later on Friday night, we are watching a really cool, we just typed it in. I wanted to, to, to see a little documentary about um, how butterflies came, come to be because I had heard, you know, how, um, how it works. And, um, and we found a really cool one about six minutes long. I'll 
message me if you want to get the link to that. And they were talking about how, you know, um, the cells in a, in a caterpillar can be thought of as individual people all working together to make this caterpillar do its thing. And <clears throat> when, um, when it starts to turn into the chrysalis, you know, it turns into a translucent, translucent goo that's um, all, it all dissolves away. And if you were one of those cells in the caterpillar, you'd think, oh my God, the world is ending. We're dying. Look at this. It's all falling apart. Everything is lost. And, but then there's these little cells, they call them imaginal cells, imaginable cells in the, in the goo that then starts to become the, the butterfly. And then what comes out is this butterfly. And so in much the same way, my whole life was, um, was the caterpillar stuff and all the stuff falling apart, the stuff falling apart and just devastation and problems and obstacles and it's just not working and this is going away and all the stuff I worked for, that was like the caterpillar turning into the goo, you know? And if I would have kept just trying to hang on to that, and I did for a long time, you know, it wouldn't have been that useful. It was falling apart for a really, um, really important reason. And so a lot of the stuff today maybe is part of that, right? Like, you know, the stuff happening in the political scene in the world, it's like maybe that's what's going on. It's falling apart. We can't hold on to the old stuff. You can try, but maybe there's something else happening and maybe this obstacle and these problems, whatever you're dealing with or whatever you're thinking about on the big national and world levels, maybe it's kind of like that. Like it's supposed to fall apart. Maybe it's supposed to be wrong and bizarre and crazy and maybe life's supposed to kind of like get disrupted because there's something happening. So, so that's kind of a cool way to think about it. And I've worked with stuff like that for quite a while, but when it's up here, it's like, how useful is that? You know, it's like, but when we start to get it, you know, Jen and I got it on a whole extra level this last Friday. It was like, Oh my God, it really is the way the obstacle is the way. And this stuff is going away and there's some new stuff coming in. So it's cool to have a technique or a thing so that you can um, quickly go to whatever is going on and get really tuned in to this new opportunity that looks like a problem. So for today, what you can do is um, think about what you want, what you really want. And think about the biggest obstacle in the way of that and the frustration and the pain and the problem and how it's just not working and the fear. And you can think about that for a moment if you want. It's already there. Maybe it's kind of like the, the caterpillar. It's going away. And then for the next moment, just think about um, or, or notice what's happening in your body. So just like put your attention inside your body and go, huh, what's happening? And there's a lot more to this way of doing things. But um, for right now, just put your attention to wherever your attention is in your body as this shifts for you. So on three, two, one. Just think about what is happening in your body right now. All right. So you know, you can try to get your mind to think that this is, you know, true. Like, you know, oh yeah, the obstacle is the way and the problem is the thing. And, but it's like, God, that doesn't really work very well, right? It's like, you just you can try to do all the wishful thinking, positive thinking you want. But maybe the answer is deep inside you. And if you were to take a look now and see what is happening deep inside you right now. And keep your attention on that. Maybe something will be different today. So 
Let me know what you notice even this morning while you do this. And then message me wherever you can get a hold of me, you know, on Facebook or emails or YouTube. And let me know what's different over the next few days. And I'd love to hear what your obstacles are, what your challenges are, what you really want, the big things that are giving you a lot of angst. And, you know, this morning I, I thought of, um, I woke up and I'm like, golly, I, I made this decision to do a Facebook Live and turn it into YouTube and podcast every single day. And I thought, what am I going to talk about today, you know? Like, <laughs> good Lord. And, um, but there's this thing of like, you just go ahead and um, do the action anyway. The best thing is to stay in motion. If you're in motion, you've got a chance, you know? You've got a chance to do something. And so I thought, okay, here goes. I'm going to do this one today. And it came in pretty cool, I think. So let me know what you notice. I love hearing from you guys. I love to hear what you're noticing. Let me see. There I am. I hope it's working just fine. Oh, yay, Elaine. I'd love to see you here. And Misty and Michael. All the people. I love you guys. All right. So... So let me know what's going on, um, and I will see you tomorrow. I've got a busy day, so I don't know when I'm going to be um, doing it, but you can look for it. It'll be on YouTube also, Beyond Limits um, YouTube channel. So go ahead and click subscribe, um, <clears throat> click like, share it, and, um, and let me know what's going on. All right, everybody. Bye for now. See you tomorrow. Hasta luego.